<coughs> I'm going to the uh, Vagos Clubhouse on the 29th, and what I'm going to do is drop a pound of this legal sweet white powder, okay? And uh, I'm going to say, you know what? Fucking, let's have fun. Let's treat it like cocaine, because that's basically what it is. And you know what? Buck naked. Uh, I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping, motherfucker, that uh, you're, what, what did you say? Uh, fucking, you put this shit out there, dude, to make it so you couldn't fucking show up. You said that you served as a rat in the pen, you know, busting guys. So, yeah, you really busted some guys. Uh, you know what? You're a fucking 45-year-old that looks in really good shape, and you got most guys fucking snowed because you're, you know, what, 6 feet, 205 pounds? And you live up in El Dorado Hills and uh, buck naked, okay, on uh, NorCal Chat, Passion.com. Oh, yeah, you know, you're a rat, motherfucker, <laughs> and talking shit on me. Um, you said that you thought that I was a fucking punk when I just said, you know what, um, I'm not the one. And guess what? If you want to be the one, uh, you can come down to the Vagos Clubhouse and trade punches with me. And it's like this, dude. Let me uh, clue you in, all right? Um, I'm 6'3". And now I'm 228 pounds, okay? Because, uh, you know, I did 45 days. <clears throat> no big. And uh, I'm also about as fast. As a black middleweight. <coughs> when I'm fucking uh, amped up on stevia and weed at the same time. And you know what? I mean, it's like this, dude. If you can't kick me and you can't take me down... All right? If you can't fucking implement cage fighting tactics, put it like this, man. I'll fucking stomp you at Gladiator Challenge. Gladly. Okay? But you know what? This is a special event. So I was thinking about treating it like a fucking uh, Wild West shootout. Feel me? <coughs> Only no guns. Just punches. <coughs> and uh, you know what? No, my titties aren't fucking perfect. If I had Brock Lesnar's money, uh, a lot of guys' money out there that was spending money on steroids, uh, I bet you that if we tested you buck naked, that you would have fucking uh, steroids in your body, dude. Guaranteed. And you know what? It's like this. You started talking shit on me. You had no fucking idea, punk. You know what? Um... It would be cool if you would come down with a contingent of your law enforcement friends. You know what? Uh, you know, there are a lot of cool cops that I met uh, on this little soldier. You know, they just did their job because I wasn't being fucking cool, hand Luke. And uh, there's a lot of assholes out there. And you're one of them, punk. And you know what? Uh, it would be cool for you guys to come down. And you know what? Back to back to back to back. If I got my hands taped up to the point where they would not get hurt, okay? And I get to stay back and basically p play a fucking fancy match on you. You know what I'm saying? You know? I mean, yeah, it's like this. You can't kick me and you can't take me down. Okay? You know what? You're going to have to survive your punches. I'm 6'3", man. I'm 228 pounds. I got a long fucking reach. And, you know, boom. I mean, I can fucking touch you from outside, bitch. And, you know what? Touch you, boom. You know, over and over. And, 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 and you think you're going to fucking... <laughs> I mean... Put it like this. I'll fucking let you fucking wear yourself out on me. Harry Gopal hit me with 27 punches, and he's going to be a world champ, all right? And you know what? I'm just trying to get this shit famous. Put it like this. Days of NorCal chat, uh, they're kind of numbered because I'm going to be making movies about some of you fucking fools like this chimpanzee Nate on crutches at Lori's fucking coming to confront me, okay, saying that I'm a fucking tool. You know what, that I'm a fucking charlatan, that Stevie doesn't work, and he's on crutches for Christ's sakes. And you know what, he trips and falls to the floor and never makes it over to confront me. And you know what, oh my God, uh, that motherfucker's done well, and he doesn't even know it yet. He's so fucking, <laughs> fucking chunky from smoking weed. And uh, you know what, he dumped his girlfriend. I bet you she will provide troves of information if I had the financial funding to actually make days of NorCal chat. Now, there's a lot of cool people in there. Don't get me wrong, okay? Uh, silent. You know what? 
<laughs> I knew you back then, girl. And uh, getting invited to your wedding? Wow, that's kind of cool. I wonder... I wonder what it is, okay? Do you realize, are you really that smart? Do you realize that, you know what, uh, everything that I'm saying is fucking true? Oh my goodness, you know what? How much of what I'm saying do you know is true, okay? Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> maybe I should come with a friend as a witness because, you know, your man is a uh, Bama and he's in the military, all right? And uh, those guys... They don't fuck around because, you know what, <laughs> they don't have any fucking, uh, they have few rules of engagement, okay, in certain things, okay, and they just fucking, they shoot, you know, or if they get pissed and coming back, anyways, you know, put it like this, um, you said yourself that you thought that uh, every soldier would kind of be cool, okay, if the war ended, all right, you know, um, the thoughts of fucking shooting and gunplay and everything, you know, that's one thing when you're a little kid, but actually getting into it and then being put into fucking stupid situations. You know what I would do if I was fucking commander? I would shut off the water. Oh, yeah. In that fucking region, shut the fucking water off and you know what? Uh, come on out, okay? And we're going to go in and we're going to fucking search everything. It might not be legal in the United States. Oh, wait a minute. They do that in the United States too. But fucking fuck it. This is Iraq. We don't give a fuck because, you know, <laughs> we're America. We're kicking ass, you know, taking names. Fuck you, the poor, basically, okay, in another country. And, uh, you know what? Um, yeah, I just shut it down. I fucking shut the water. They'd come out, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, that would put it into that, wouldn't it? But they do stupid fighting, okay? They put our boys at risk fucking uh, with uh, armored vehicles that don't have any armor, okay? Days of NorCal chat, freely. Go, tell you what, girl. Uh, you will never, ever, ever put Stevie in your body. God Almighty, uh, audience watching a movie with your character, short, fat, and fucking ugly. Okay, you know what? You might actually have a chance, girl. Okay, if you were lean. Okay, but you're just a mean, spiteful little beep. And uh, wow, <laughs> fucking considering that I take gold at the inaugural lesbian or olympics all right uh you know what with as many guys as is playing the violin and as many women that know about it okay and say they're playing it too um would i even be on the fucking top three but put it like this you're a lesbian and you're talking shit and you haven't even tried it it's because you don't have the chance because you're too fat but you'll never try stevia and you know what uh let's see uh, will I include you in a movie? I don't know, okay? Your life is probably been miserable enough. Um, put it like this. It's not like I wouldn't say this shit, okay? Um, put it like this. If you put me in a fucking... <laughs> put it like this. Anybody that wants to fucking talk shit to me, all right? Seriously, come to the Vogels Clubhouse, all right? But don't just fucking show up at the last minute, all right? And uh, let's do it. And let's make this fucking count, all right? See, what I'm saying is that Stevie and we together make me so fucking fast and so fucking goddamn durable that you won't be able to do a motherfucking thing, Dave Huckabee, okay? Dude, I'll tell you what, man. If Bob Lapua couldn't knock me out with his very best shot, okay? You know what? Do you think that um, when I start hunting your head and you can't fucking kick me and you can't take me down, dude, I'll fucking own you. Okay? You don't deal well with punches. I saw Ross Clifton fucking damn near buckle your knees to the jab, dude. Okay? And you know what? Uh, I'm a lot faster than him. Okay? He was good. Okay? You know what? <laughs> fucking, I taught him. <laughs> so it was basically, you know what? Kind of me through him touching you. All right? You know, there will be more of them, not as strong. Okay? You know what? That was one big bad motherfucker. Okay? But, uh, you know, all these fucking scumbags in NorCal chat talking shit on me. You know what? Put it like this. Um, some people say I'm crazy because I'm saying that I might trade it. But you know what I'm saying? What people should be fucking paying attention to is how fucked up the planet is. It's getting worse. It's not getting better. Okay? You know what? We're reproducing at the same rate. Okay? So we're going to be fucking three deep in about another 30 years. All right? And, uh, you know what? The rich are getting richer and they're stealing everything and you're fucking 
bagging on me when I'm poised to be the richest motherfucker this planet's ever seen, bitches. I eat like a pig. I don't do shit, okay? I'm not in shape, okay? I just started fucking working out, all right? But you know what? I'll tell you this. <sighs> on Stevia and weed, if it wasn't, you know, top flight fucking boxers and shit, um, tape my hands, you know, make them like cement, okay? You know what? I'll go through fucking five shit-talking punk motherfuckers on NorCal Chat Back to back to back to back to back. And you know what? Um, uh, Dave Huckabee and uh, Rick Vardell. If I had a fucking Christmas present, okay, Kevin, you know what? It would be to have you two back to back. And with $5,000 spread among the two of you, be enough to foot that fucking bill.